We are all ready for business, right? Check it out. We got the, we got the steak. Come on. Steaks be steaking. We have the rice. We have the mushrooms. We have lemon juice. We have the butter, onion, peppers, cucumbers, chop. I'm gonna show you what I like to do right before I go into the grocery store or even before I leave the house. I like to write down everything that I'm initially getting, like all of the necessities. So as far as groceries, you know what I'm saying? Normally it's best to already eat before you grocery shop because then you're you're hungry shopping rather than grocery shopping as far as what you need or what you actually want, you know what I mean? So here we got eggs, potatoes, peppers, lime, mushroom, cucumbers, milk, Alfredo sauce, necessity, the noodles, the nudes, uh, three snacks. These are like uh, miscellaneous, you know what I mean? They could be anything. I need some Uncrustables. That's that's a definite fact. So Uncrustables is definitely on this list. I'm not sure what else yet. We'll find out. Uh, cheese, chicken broth, seasonings. You know what I'm saying? I need I need more onion powder. So that's that's for sure. And then uh, three meats. So it's probably gonna be like some shrimp, maybe some salmon and chicken or a steak or whatever. But we the goal is not to be above 160 and i don't think i with this list i don't think i'm gonna hit 160 it'll probably be 120 i like to guesstimate before i did so mark my words i'm saying 120 unless if i get something else on top of that uh but no more than than 160 i normally could eyeball whatever i'm eating and uh or whatever i'm i'm getting and being able to guess exactly what it is but um yeah, and I still don't have a clear idea as far as what I want to make tonight, but ultimately everything that I have right now and the rest that I have in the fridge at home, I can definitely make something. Uh, but one thing that I always stress about having incorporated whenever you go grocery shopping is when I initially grocery shop, like doing a whole bulk grocery shopping, uh, I like to get non-perishable items like laundry, a bunch of laundry detergent, uh, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, um, uh, toothpaste, deodorant, um, non-perishables, right? Things that just don't poof away just because they don't have an expiration date, you know what I mean? That is... So far, I wound up had to have to I have to actually get some onion. I know it's forgetting something, but we just picked up cucumber, lime, and peppers. Um, Got to get some onion for sure. The best onion to get is purple. Purple is the most healthy. And when you do pick out food, whenever you go grocery shopping, you got. If you haven't seen already, I like to feel. You wanna you wanna have a firm uh, fruit or vegetable that you're getting. So similar to an onion, I like to check to see if there's any white around it or anything like that. Like this is normal. This is actually a really good onion. Good afternoon. So Peter this is definitely what I'm getting. Um, but like a bad onion would be Just like regards. this one here. See how, see how it's white around there? Yeah, 
got to get that minced garlic. See, I, I'm adding things to the list now. So the thing about eggs, you want to always check around the whole thing. Sometimes these are in like cartons or not uh, like paper cartons or cardboard cartons. But to check to see if there's cracks or anything in the eggs is something big you want to do. The what? How? Need that. It is. Come on. It ain't the best for you, but it feels like it. The the peach. Come on now. Peach pineapple. Stop playing. Pineapple mango. Stop playing. Let's slow down and see what we got already. So we got the eggs to check. Ooh, forgot the potatoes. See, this is why we write stuff down. We got the peppers, got lime, got the mushrooms, got cucumber, and then we got some extra stuff. So we got onion, uh, garlic, the minced garlic, and then we got juice. So that's the extras that we got going on. I'm still, I'm still kind of hope. I'm, I was saying 120, it might be 130 on the low end, but like I said, our goal is to not surpass 160. But uh, yeah, let's get it. So, got the potatoes. Hey, key note also is if you're looking to eat healthier, think about getting anything that's uh, dark. Anything that's dark, it's more healthy for you. Normally, I don't get the potatoes. I don't get these. Anything that's like white or close to white, starchy, usually means it's less healthier. Usually I get the purple ones, but this time I feel like getting these potatoes they don't necessarily have a different taste per se either I can't tell but I love eating potatoes um, I eat all the potatoes I don't care I have potatoes all every day if I if I so choose so please but um, usually dark not usually darker is better that's how you can tell which one's more healthy but um should we here and the seasonings I'm gonna give you guys a cheat code you see these like gravy packets kind of thing? These are cheat codes. These are cheat codes. That means you don't have to like think too much as far as like what what and how you want something seasoned. Like if you're like, dang, I want some buffalo wings, but I don't know the recipe. Boom, like buffalo ranch. You know what I'm saying? And then you put like a little bit of buffalo sauce or whatever the case may be. Or you want something like more creamy. You, you do like the little, uh, the ranch joint these are good like get you want get you uh, i can't find oh see this one's good buttermilk chicken you put this in like pasta alfredo sauce should i'll do that too i won't make it tonight but oh look at that lemon bam they they usually have the the hidden valley ranch joint i know i said not to get hidden valley ranch but look you get the powder joint yeah that cheat codes cheat code cheat codes now, what I, what I need specifically is I need onion powder. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some onion powder. And usually, onion powder runs out pretty quick. Not gonna lie. But you get you some onion powder, garlic powder, salt pepper is, is mando. But um, just like base seasonings, Onion powder, garlic powder, and then like all-purpose seasoning. See, they got Slappy Mama. They have it right here. Boom. This one right here. It's like a Cajun seasoning. This is really good. You don't need a lot. This has a ton of sodium. 
Um, also, another cheat code is uh, these are like herbs, right? These are like herb seasonings. They, they don't make things salty. It just makes it flavorful. You know what I mean? So, Mrs. Dash, fire. Like any of these that you normally put in, like, oh, you put it in uh, salads. You, you, you do this to, to like your chicken or any meats, bro? Come on, dog. It makes it makes it really good. It makes it pop, pop different. You gotta have that Himalayan salt though. Yeah. If you get any salt, get the Himalayan. And then this is the pepper I use. I love this. Bop. Um. Do I need anything else? I said three, but I think I'm fine. Honestly, all I really needed was was that. I kind of, I might need a little bit more salt though. I'm gonna get me one more bop. All right, so we're we're sitting pretty nice. We're not too bad right now. You know what I'm saying, come on now. We, so we hit the seasoning and we didn't even we didn't even necessarily get every because I wasn't even initially thinking about getting those seasonings that I have now. And I have these, and it's a lot less than uh, any of these seasonings are normally. De they're pretty decently expensive. They're like three, four, six dollars. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you got to be very particular as far as what you want. Regardless, we're still on the move. So let's mark that off on our list. So what was it? Got to still get Alfredo sauce and noodles next. Seasonings, we knocked the seasonings out right here. Bop. Done. Uh, now we got. Oh, wait, we got cheese too. Stop playing. Uh, now it's Alfredo, some milk, uh, the noodles, chicken broth. Come on now, dog. Stop playing with me. This is, this is it. This is the one. This is the one. Sometimes I like to do, I like to do two of them. I used to do two Alfredos, but, I, but for the most part, I stopped doing that. Hey, this is what I discovered. These noodles right here, boy, pressure. The little circular joints, like a tube. Dog, these, these, these have like the most, any, sauce that you put in there it's gonna keep the sauce in there so it'll be busting crazy I'm giving out cheat codes man cheat codes here you go here's another cheat code chicken bro Chicken broth is a cheat code. Stop playing. Alright, so now we have chicken broth checked off. Yes, sir. Oh, whoops. Chicken broth. Uh, and then the nudes. Yeah. And then Alfredo sauce. Yeah. Come on now. We, we doing this thing. Now all we have left is the meat. And then the snacks. All right, so let's get it. Bow, 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 bow. These things, oh my goodness! I know. So I'm scooping these. These, that's this is a part of my snacks. So like that, and then the Incrustables next. Ooh. They put me on the fair life, bro. Never going back. See, the best one is strawberry. Yeah. Now it's 
onto the meat. I think I want shrimp for sure. Right now we're gonna get a couple of steaks. I have to have the steaks. It's 9.31. 9.31, we got a 10.95. I think I'm gonna rock with these two. I'm rocking with these two. Put these back. Hey, you see number seven? It's calling to us. We're going right there. Yeah. Oh, they faked this out. We're going on eight. I like eight. I know this guy. A long time ago. Yeah, come back on this side. We want to put all the cold first, all the cold food first, like the meats and like whatever, and the vegetables. Yeah. It's been a very long time. How are you? You're doing very well in yourself. I'm happy to see you. You look healthy. It's good to see you. You look well. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting classic. We we're not you know, trying to save the world. We need that of the Superman. You feel me? Excuse me? Sometimes. Not, not as much as I used to. Yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> Oh yeah, Time, times are definitely catching up. Did it. We actually got a under 120. Yeah. My my whole goal was to get 120. The 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 max was 160, but we just made it 110. That's good. Now right, dog, we over here setting goals and we're exceeding them. Let's get it. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Seven. Four. We are all ready for business, right? Check it out. We got the, we got the steak. Come on, steaks be steaking. We have the rice. We have the mushrooms. We have lemon juice. We have the butter, onion, peppers, cucumbers. Chop. All right. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna cut up all the vegetables. We're gonna clean up all the vegetables. And for the most part, uh, especially with the rice, I'm. I just spilled the rice everywhere, y'all. It is everywhere. I'm hot. I'm gonna get that later. I'm gonna get that later, because... Anyways, with rice, I eyeball, I eyeball it. I don't even, I don't even use a cup measure. And I gotta put a little bit more in there because I just literally spilled half of this stuff all over the place. All right, I gotta clean it. Now for the rice, check me out. 
If you want to know if somebody's really dirty, ask if they clean their rice. And if they look at you crazy, they're dirty. You want to be able to clean your rice out while it's in the bowl. I say at least you got to clean it out until, you know, the water, you can see it clearly. You don't want murky water. Watch this, watch. This is the first pour. You see how murky that looks? That's because that's all that dirt on the rice. There is no reason there should be dirt on the rice. No murky water. So if you're in the kitchen with somebody and they're cooking and they're making some rice, highly advise to look at the water and see if it's murky. If it's murky, they dirty. <laughs> simple logic, simple logic. I, I actually suck at making rice. So I have a rice maker, highly advised. I ain't gotta do a thing. I just let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. See, I could just be like, uh, stay over there. Then what I do is, so obviously you know I'm in an apartment, right, right? That's clear. I'm about to get this OG, you know what I'm saying? This is the triple OG cooker, boy. Yes, sir, this is only like, I think 30 or 40 bucks, come on now. It's almost like I'm grilling outside without the, you know, the little grilly things. You just hook it up like this, bop, and you turn around like this. Boom, look at that, on. This thing gets hot pretty quick. That's where the steak gonna be staking, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put the, the veggie tables, they ain't gonna be going yet. Now I got the rice on deck. Now I'm about to get this right. And usually I, I like to put the lemon juice on vegetables or if I was to make lemon chicken, just depending on exactly how much or how uh, I like my food. And probably the best, the best advice my mom ever got me or uh, the best advice that my mom ever gave me was that she's just like, make food taste the way you want it to taste. I know it's simple and I wouldn't even say cliche because I've never heard anybody say that, but I like more savory food. I said I got a lot done and ran a lot of errands. <clears throat> I went to the gym, so day two out of two. Okay, gym be gymming. I'm gymming again. And we have the final product. Let's go. Come on, don't tell me I didn't do that. I did that, come on now. Nah, God did that. Come on now, put God did in the comments if you know that he did that. Blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. Hey, hey, I put on my, my soon to be wife. Oh yeah. She gonna be eating good, so good. But I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. Um, I do wanna leave you off with this last little bit, right? Be a blessing unto others. Don't, don't, don't always focus on when you gonna get blessed and who's gonna do what for you. Be a blessing unto others and God will bless you. Come on now, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.